Introducing the new Barwell Spin Trim, a simple cost effective way to deflash a wide range of molded rubber products up to approximately 75mm diameter or the equivalent in a different cross section by means of a spinning plate which can rotate up to a maximum speed of 7000 rpm. Turn the machine on at the main switch next to the operator screen. It will run through to the first Barwell screen with Barwell Global's telephone number and website details. Simply touch the screen to open the monitor screen, showing the running values. From here we can access the parameter screen to enter a password. Touch user and then enter Barwell here. Then touch password and enter the desired password and then press OK. This will bring you to the parameter screen where we would enter the RPM setting, the spin time, the unload time, and the vacuum start delay. We change the values here to give us the best possible results at the shortest deflashing time. When we have entered all of these parameters, we touch the admin monitor button, which is a screen that all of the parts will be running. Once all the settings are entered, we then select our vacuum plate. We include six drill plates with diameters from three millimeters up to 15 millimeters and one undrilled plate if the customer needs an alternative size drilling. We take the molded part to ensure it will not pass through the hole in the drill plate. This is for the very small pieces of flash to be taken away in the vacuum. Once we have determined the correct size hole, we then open the side door and we place the vacuum plate in the back of the drum and we secure this with a butterfly nut. We then close the door and the spin trim is ready to run. We now do a similar operation with the spin trim separator unit, only this time we want the molded part to fall through the top plate and leave the heavy flash on the top section. A simple toggle clamp allows us to drop down the back plate and change the two drill plates with relative ease. The second drill plate at the bottom will be smaller than the molded part to allow the small flash particles to fall through only leaving the good molded parts in the middle section. Now both drill plates are in position, the separator unit can be placed under the spin trim exit chute. Once again, this is locked in place using a very simple toggle clamp arrangement. Small containers are placed each side of the separator unit to catch the small moldy parts and the very small flash particles. We are now ready to run the spin trim and the separator. We go back to the manual screen and we touch the door open button to open the sliding doors for loading in the products. We estimate that a maximum of one kilo of product can be loaded depending on the size and the mass of the molded part. Drop the molded rubber parts into the drum and ensure that the top loading door is closed to engage the safety limit switch. Press the close door button and return to the admin screen. We then go to the front of the machine and we press the start button. There are three compartments inside the stainless steel drum, so the machine can be run continuously if required. The countdown now begins and the parts are thrown around inside the drum by the rotating disc at up to 7000 RPM or the desired spin speed for the product. When the timer reaches zero, the unload procedure will begin with an air blast which pushes the parts forward and then out of the exit chute and into the separator unit. This unload time is preset in the parameter screen. The separator will leave the heavy flash on the top section. The good parts will drop into the middle section and the small flash particles 
will drop through to the bottom section. This could save many hours of sorting if done by hand. The input and the output screen is there to help with fault finding if a problem should occur. We can also store up to 20 setups on the machine by pressing the setup button in the parameter screen. Simply scroll down to the desired setup, press use setup and it will load the new settings. Return to the parameter screen to check that they are correct and then we are ready to start the cycle. We have simulated the cycle using a clear Perspex cover so you can see the actual deflashing process inside the drum. As you can see, the speed of the parts hitting the outside of the drum breaks the thin flash line between the actual moulded product and the tear trim. This action continues for the designated time to ensure that all the parts in the drum are deflashed. During this time, the vacuum cleaner will also be removing small particles of flash from inside the drum. As you can see, the spin trim is a very simple, cost effective way of deflashing. It can also be used as a pre cryogenic deflashing machine to remove up to 90% of the waste rubber, which means that you can put more product into your cryogenic deflashing machine, and the cycle time in the cryogenic machine may also be reduced by up to 50%. For further information on the spin trim, please contact Barwell or one of our representatives.